Things have completely turned around and I've got pocket aces on the button. The same opponent from the last hand opens to 120 from middle position. I 3 bet to 380 expecting to win without seeing a flop. That might be what happens in an average vlog session, but not today. The opponent 4 bets to 1200. He has 730 behind. It's tough for me to fathom that this is real life right now. I take a stack of yellow 1k chips and I announce that I'm all in. The player can't really fold anything given the price that he's getting. He calls. We're playing almost a 4k all in pot and the opponent asks if I want to run it multiple times. I'm not in the mood for potentially chopping the pot. Let's go once. That's right, we're going one time for all of it, and I'm glad we chose once because the flop is ace-8-3 with two hearts, we flop the nuts, the turn is the jack of spades, there's nothing to be worried about, the river is the seven of spades, the only hand that beats me is 10-9 for the straight, that's not what the opponent called a 5-bet shove with, we win our first all-in of the day, it comes at a great time, this is an epic comeback, in this session alone I went on almost a 12k downswing, which by itself would have been one of the top 5 worst downswings of my life. Usually when it happens, it's spread out over weeks or months, and it takes weeks or months to get all the money back. Somehow we're winning 1000 on the day due to the 510, and we're at least even in the 1020 session. Actually, we're not quite even in 1020. Remember that we're in for two 10k bullets? Well I get a count, and I kid you not that we have 19,900 in front of us after stacking the opponent. We're 100 short. Now how dumb is it to not walk away when I could have a win on the Bellagio trip locked up, and I could leave the 1020 table almost completely unscathed after getting torched in a $10,000 hand earlier. It's about as dumb as it gets. Who cares about booking a tiny loss at these stakes if I can cash out for 99.5% of what I bought in for after going through all this stress? The answer is me. I didn't get this far to not book a win. It's over 7 hours into the session, and I'm pushing it to the limit. I just need to win one small pot to finish that journey from the deepest part of Stuckville that I've ever been in, and I hope to never go back there. We get an opportunity to seal the victory with ace 3 offsuit in the big blind. The small blind limps in. I want to isolate him. I raise to 200. Things don't go exactly as planned. The player under the gun calls for 160 more. The small blind calls as well. We're going three ways to the flop. It's ace deuce deuce rainbow. We probably have the best hand. The small blind checks. Without too much to worry about and a weak kicker, I check for paw control and possibly to induce bluffs. Under the gun takes the bait, betting 220. The small blind folds. I call. We're heads up. The turn is the seven of clubs. I check. My hand is under repped. It probably looks like I have some kind of medium to large pocket pair. The opponent announces a bet of 500. I don't anticipate him having many deuces except maybe ace deuce of hearts. He shouldn't have big aces either, yet it seems like he's trying to rep a big hand. This feels like a bluff. Maybe the opponent bet with some back doors and picked up a flush draw. I call. The river is the six of spades. I check, hoping it gets checked back. The opponent instead fires for 1700. Oh god, this is a nightmare. I don't have a clue what I'm up against. If I call and lose, I'm going to be down several thousand again. Even if I fold, I'm going to be down quite a bit. Something just feels fishy. I call. Ace 3 is not the winner. The player called the $200 preflop raise with Jack Deuce of Hearts. The sickest part is that the opponent says Jack Deuce is one of his favorite hands and that's why he played it. He also wanted to get in the mix against me because he watches the vlog. Well, he made this one, and now I'm feeling like a complete idiot for not only calling the river, but also for not leaving when I was only down $100. Now I'm down $3,000, and I'm completely dejected. I've been playing for 7.5 hours when I pick up queen 6 suited in the hijack, I open to 120. The button calls, he's the same opponent from the last hand, we're heads up out of position. The flop comes 10-4 deuce with 2 spades, we've got a flush draw, 1 over, and a backdoor straight draw. I bet 200 to potentially take it down without having to make a hand. The button isn't going to let me. He raises to 600. This isn't a particularly great situation to be in. He could be doing this with some kind of better flush draw than me, like ace 3 or ace 5 of spades. It's only 400 more though. I call. The turn is the 8 of spades. We drill the third nuts. I'm still not sure if it's good. I check to see how the button's going to play this. He's not easing my concerns. He fires for 1300. I guess the button isn't worried at all about the flush draw getting there. I make another call, knowing that I could be drawing completely dead. The river is the five of diamonds. I check. This pot has gotten really big. I'm not all that comfortable. I'm even less comfortable when the button fires for $4,000. This is absolutely insane. I have the third nuts, but I feel like I have a bluff catcher. If I call, it'll be a pot of over $12,000. It'll break the record for the biggest pot that I've ever played, which was $10,000 when I lost that one a few hours ago. 
If I win, I'll be up 3,500 for the session and 4,600 total for the day. If I lose, I'll be in the hole about 9,000 on the session. Nearly every time that I made a big river call, I've been wrong. Somehow I haven't learned my lesson. I just don't have it in me to fold a hand that's this strong. So I brace myself for the bad news one more time and I put in calling chips. The opponent's quick to turn over Jack Deuce's spades for a slightly smaller flush. He might like Jack Deuce suited a little too much. He gets totally punished for playing it this time. I have him notched to win by far the largest pot of my life. Excuse the language, but what a fucking wild ride today has been. I didn't think it was going to happen, but I'm all the way out of the hole. This has been the most taxing cash game session that I've ever played. I'm completely mentally drained. I can't possibly express how happy I am to come back from the dead like that and actually have a solid win. I have to give credit to the opponent because he loses a big cooler, but knows this is a huge moment for me, and he's very cool about it. Same, bro. Thanks, man. I've got over 23,000 in front of me. Prior to today, I've never had much more than 10,000 in front of me. I get dealt a few hands more, but I'm mentally checked out and thrilled to leave with a win.